Hi guys, and welcome to a video of how to get your desktop theme to be like this one. And as you can see, I'm currently running um, Windows 8.1. Uh, yeah, as you can see there, I'm running a single language. And so I'm going to show you guys how to get it on this device. Including this music here that actually plays music, as you can see there. Um, so yeah, every, everything will be included. And I'm doing this doc here, so... So let's begin. There are two things that you need, that are two programs that you have to download, and then the file that I'm going to provide you. So first, you have to download the program called RainMeter. You can just search in Google RainMeter, and you just... Uh, I prefer to download the final release of this one right there. I'll put the link in the description as well, so you just download that, install it. It's pretty simple. And the next program you're going to need is called RocketDoc, the same program. You just search RocketDoc.com, which will also be in the description. Uh, yeah, so just download here as well. You can see you go to the download section. You can just download there and also will be in the description. Cool. Alright, so after both of them are done, you're going to download the third file, which is my custom file, the files of this theme that I have right here. So yeah, so yeah, it's going to be right here, which will also be in the description. Just click download over here. It's a Mediafire file. It's a RAR file, so you're going to have to have a WinRAR for this. Uh, so yeah. After you download that file, you're gonna have to go find it in your on uh, where did you saved it. You're gonna have to file it. You're gonna have to extract all of this. All right, you're gonna have to extract uh, on the desktop if you want. Uh, you can just extract it here if you want to on the desktop. I'm just gonna show you guys here. And yeah, so it's gonna extract. All right, so okay. So once you have that and you have the two programs which are called uh, Rain Meter and um, Rocket Doc, so you have both of them installed for now, and then later you're gonna have to have these files. You're gonna see these files, and what you have to do is to go to your uh, RainMeter folder, which mine will be here, which is pro usually in is usually in the program files 86 or program files. I think mine is in program files. Yeah, if you use the 64-bit system, there'll be program files 86. So RainMeter, and you're gonna have to click the Skin Installer. Double click on that. And then you look at the file that I gave you, which is a uh, taunt uh, costume theme. You just click the costume arc reactor there. You click OK and open. It's gonna take some. It's gonna take some time for you to install it. Then it will finish. And once it's done, you, when you op you double click on Rainmeter over here, of course, and your Rainmeter will launch. So you will have something like this on your uh, what do you call it, taskbar or something and you'll see this one right here so th you will be given this Tetch blue version v2.02 and Tetch a so my settings are so that I, I I don't have everything that is in here I only have a few uh, so yeah you can just tweak around like either you can just have to to load each skin it's very simple to just right click the any files and click load and you'll see on the screen so yeah just load anything that you want uh, for example if I want to load HDD D is actually the hard drive C. So if I load it here, you'll see that you'll see your specs of your HDD uh, <clears throat> D. So as you can see, and I can just unload it because I don't need it. So yeah, you could you can choose as much as you want to load from here, and that's very simple as well. So yeah, that's how you get the rain meter and thing. And of course, the desktop background I put it in there, just alien background. Just right click and set as desktop background. You'll get the alien thing. Now the music player. You have to go to Zion and you have to double click the Zion application and this will automatically come up. If not, it's going to be the right... Uh, if, you, if you don't find it to be like this, then you're going to have to choose skin. Make sure you choose the Alexis one, which I've installed inside the Zion folder for you guys. Uh, Alright, so that's the music player. It will work just fine. You can play any MP3 on it. Um, so yeah. And for the Rocket Dock, of course, as usual, you're going to have these files I put for you. Source 6. Um, icons one, two, three, and four. What you want to do is you want to copy each of the icons like that from each of the folders that I gave you. One, two, three, four. You have to go to your Rocket Doc folder, which whatever you installed it. For me, it's gonna be let's see. Um, I'm just for a while. I think I put it in the program file, so I'm just gonna go check for a while. And as you can see, it's gonna be somewhere on your Rocket Doc. Yeah, there you go. You're gonna have to go into icons. And you're gonna have to paste, like, copy all the folders here. As you can see, I have all copied, like one, two, three, four. These are the icons. You can download more at rocketdoc.com/icons. Uh, so yeah, 
and you also have to get the back vector vector is a skin so you have to put that one in the skin folder the whole folder you just copy it in there as you can see I already have it uh, there we go so that's all you need for all that's all you need to customize it and then of course when you first launch rocket dock you're gonna find yourself that it's gonna be down here in the middle which is not what you want you want to put it a little bit to the left or the right to do that you just right click your dock sorry about that just right click on your dock click on dock settings usually uh, dock settings are it's one of them but I removed it so dock settings and you're gonna have to go to position and you can just have to change this you see it moves around yeah this is position is which how you change the position of the rocket dock and style you can change the font and stuff behavior uh, I prefer to be just leave it like that uh, and a style remember to select uh, always on bottom because that way when you launch applications it will stay on Windows so and of course uh, you can change the skin I think it's yeah right here you have vector will be automatically there after you put the folder inside and yeah you should have a desktop like this and to hide these all the icons on your desktop you simply click view and show desktop I mean and check that and your theme looks perfect so it works quite well and yeah hope you guys will like this theme and thanks for watching see you later if you have any questions put this in, put it in the comments below bye